chapter three. When I said I'd take the job, scrub, scrub, scrub. I didn't think she'd take me literally. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Can you believe it? So here I am. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Bent over a toilet, gripping a long-handled brush, and cleaning the inside of a despicably disgusting bowl. When was the last time someone had done this? I tried not to gag. I had been hoodwinked and done so by a pro. Ms. Linden, my new boss, was very crafty. She skillfully set me up, and I'd fallen for it. I'd taken the job. Flush. But I'm already counting my hours, calculating my money. I have to. I need to buy my five-year-old son, Kevin, sneakers, and his four-year-old brother, Terrence, underwear. Even though my baby boy was potty trained, he had an occasional accident. I never had enough undies. I smile. They were my heart. They were the reason I'd taken this job. We were going to make it. A part of me was happy, a very big part of me. I was employed. Now I'd be able to save money for another apartment. Soon, I'd be able to give them each their own bedroom, complete with a game set. I'm not complaining about our current situation or the cramped space we live in. I'm really not, but when my ex left, I couldn't afford to pay the rent. It was too high. So I've been forced to move into the basement of my mother's row house. That had been one of the hardest things I ever had to do. Try explaining to your mom that the man you loved and had two kids with just up and left. It isn't easy. And then add to the mix that he hadn't bothered to even pay the rent on his way out. Now that was downright messy. But I had to. I didn't have anywhere else to go. I had to swallow my pride and ask for help. I lifted the mop from the automatic ringer and began swinging it across the floor. My skirt suit was replaced by a tan uniform shirt and pants. The tips of the black pumps I wore were well hidden from sight as I moved about the medium-sized bathroom. Of course, I couldn't tell my mother everything. I left out the part about the other woman. I'm still having trouble dealing with that. It's been months, and I haven't seen Kev. Yes, our firstborn son is named after his daddy. Maybe I'll see him tomorrow.